Just put toothpaste in Coke and you're gonna thank me. It's incredible. And folks, this is really incredible. We start by putting a little toothpaste in 200 milliliters of Coke. Now, close it up and then go ahead and shake it a little bit. And now listen very carefully, because this tip is really cool. After shaking it, grab a container. And now very carefully, we're gonna pour in our coke with toothpaste. Let some of the gas come out, and then pour it into the container. Now we're gonna need some dish soap. I'm using this coconut one, but feel free to use whatever you have at home. Let's add here 3 tablespoons of dish soap. 2 and 3. That's it. Now give it a good mix. Let's also add baking soda here. Just 1 tablespoon for this recipe. Baking soda in. Now mix it again. And to finish, let's add one cup of water. Just regular room temperature water. So, water in. Now just mix everything very well. And now folks, our mixture is ready. But let's do the following. Let's go ahead and transfer the whole mixture to a spray bottle. This will make application much easier. So grab a funnel and pour the entire mixture into the spray bottle. Now just close it up and it's ready to use. But what have we just made here, folks? This is an excellent homemade aluminum cleaner and polisher. That's right. With this product, you can clean and polish all the aluminum items in your home, but especially your pants. So, for example, here I have this pen. It's really dirty and has some stains right here. But when it gets like this, many people just throw the pen away. But you don't need to do that. Let me show you the power of our little mixture. Go ahead and apply the product all over the pen. Once that's done, just take a sponge. You don't even need steel wool for this. And then just go ahead and start scrubbing. And check this out folks, look how wonderful. This mixture is great because it not only cleans the pan, but it also gives it a beautiful shine. Now let's rinse it. And look at this folks. Truly incredible, don't you think? You can also use it on your stove burners for instance. They tend to get really burned with use and time. And here it's the same process. Take the spray bottle and apply our mix. Then just scrub with the sponge. And check it out folks. Pretty good, right? Anyone who's tried to clean this before knows how difficult it can be. But this mixture is just so powerful. See the difference? This is really amazing. So, that's it. Try this at home. I'm sure you're really gonna like the result.